Hey yo, I'm Toasted uh, Ideas, and today I want to go over the common mistakes that can be found at any turn in today's society. That being how people always point fingers at people to be the scapegoat for problems in today's problems. And more importantly, this video is in direct correlation to someone's comment that was made in a somewhat recent video of mine. The comment that was made under my video was someone stating, and I quote, and women will be the reason for this by creating unrealistic standards. And for one, I disagree to a point. Not totally, but to a certain degree. As for starters, it takes two to tango. Not only women, but also men. Now the problem with this idea of pointing fingers is that there are always going to be fingers pointing back at yourself when you do that. And just as there are women with unrealistic standards, there are, are, there are also men with unrealis unrealistic standards. I'm having a tongue twister. But where are they, you may ask. But now this is where I point out that men and women are different. And they, by proxy, do things online differently. I would almost suspect that while there are more women on the internet with unrealistic standards, that there are more men off the internet with unrealistic standards. And by golly, what could you ever see by tuning in to some lesser known podcasts or YouTubers? You would most likely find men commenting about what women should be doing or what they would tolerate from a woman. Same speech different message and you know the whole my woman should cook and clean shtick which although to yourself if you're a man would seem like light work but then i ask wouldn't a woman holding the standard of how a man must be making 100k also be just as light work think you go to school and just have to hold the standard within yourself to at least put in effort. And you'll most likely make it towards a stable job. Or in other words, light work. And why do I say that that standard of 100k isn't that unrealistic? Well, it's because, once again, as nature does nature, it balances. And if she is suspected to cook and clean for two people, then you should also be suspected to earn for two people. And how I got that 100k uh, figure is by adding the fact that women typically date older, so I just cut any difference and said that the dude is 30 years old and then double the medium income of a 30 year old, which is 50k. And then we come up to the figure of 100k. Now, what I would say dips into the spot of unrealistic would be if the woman held the standard of the dude having to make more than 100k at 30 years old. Or if the woman was asking for 100k while looking for someone younger than 30. But then I would also have to take a larger step into describing too much as then other metrics would also be added into that mixture. Like a 10 out of 10, and I mean holistically a 10, 20 year old wanting a 25 year old who makes a lot more than 100k. Is that unrealistic? I don't necessarily think so. As then those figures would balance. So what do a lot of men want? A woman who cooks and a woman who cleans, which I'm just I'm doing general generalizations here, and I'm including most red pill, manosphere, mumbo jumbo, talking shtick. Okay, that's what I'm doing here. Okay, I don't know what you want, but I'm just I'm just doing a generalization here. Okay, and for a mass portion of that, it's all light work, and I would have to say that the opposite of what I lined out on top also fits this. 
if you don't make 100k at 30, then I would call you unrealistic to want a woman who cooks and cleans for you. <clears throat> and furthermore, just like before, if you would want a woman who cooks, cleans, and looks like a model when you only make 100k at 30, then I would call you unrealistic with your standards, as at that rate, you are not worth that. But if you were a 10 out of 10, and I mean holistically a 10, then wanting a woman who would do more for being with you, like cook, clean, and being a model, wouldn't be unrealistic, as then things would balance. Now, for my second thing, just because you're a woman and women on the internet say that you're a 10 just for being a woman, that does not, in fact, make you a 10. And the same thing goes for men. No matter how many times a dude in a podcast says that you're, that you're the prize, it does not, in fact, make you a prize. I would even be partial on it making you a dumb person had you actually thought that it did make you a prize. Now, I'm not here to say that you shouldn't be looking for a 10 out of 10, because everybody wants that, myself included, obviously. But what I am here to say is that your standards should be balanced. Now, to be in total with you, I could go much deeper within this, on like an introspective level between the mindsets of people who have these thoughts. But that would be, as I currently suspect, a quite lengthy video that I only really want to do if people request. But if you'd like to hear something on a deeper level than this, then please go down below and comment that. And while you're down there, perhaps you'd consider hitting that subscribe button to become a fellow bread bag and also hit that like button so that people who may have not seen this video can see this video due to your support. And so that they can also join the bread box. Because once again, we need more bread. But anywho, I hope to see you in the next time for an extra dose of toasting. But until then, have a good one.